Hello everyone, welcome to the YouTube channel of Tribonet. My name is Manoj. Today in this video, let us understand about wave particle analysis. How do we do the wave particle analysis and what is wave particle analysis? Wave particle analysis is an important method to identify the wave mechanism in any system. For complex systems where it's unusual and highly difficult to perform analysis under a microscope or to check for weight loss to determine the wave rate and the wave mechanism. Wear can occur because of the presence of the hard particles in the oil, hard particles from the wear of the materials or hard particles entering into the system from the environment due to improper or faulty sealings and the particles from the fuel combustion etc. Here in this figure we can see the schematic representation of the wear debris and how the wear particles are determined. What are the different types of measurements or analysis used in the wear particle analysis? Quantitative and qualitative analysis. Quantitative analysis, the size and the quantity of the wear particles are analyzed by using the techniques such as the direct reading ferrography, particle count method, pore blockage method, wear method, inductive method, ultrasonic method, etc. of which direct reading ferrography is the most popular one. Qualitative analysis. In qualitative analysis, the morphology and the chemical composition of the wear particles are analyzed by using the analytical ferrography, filterography and spectroscopy techniques. Usually, if the size of the wear particle is increasing along with its concentration, then it leads to the catastrophic failure. But for some cases such as corrosive wear, this needs not, this needs not to be true as in such cases, the concentration of the wear particles is very high where the size is small and it leads to the catastrophic failure. Analytical ferrography. Analytical ferrography is one of the most widely used technique for the wear particle analysis. If the oil containing the wear particles is viscous, then in order to for the oil to flow freely and to separate the wear particles from the oil, it has to be diluted with some agents. This diluted oil sample is now allowed to flow over a glass slide called ferrogram. A magnetic cylinder with a ferrogram on it draw ferrous particles from the oil. Non-ferrous particles are spread out over the length of the slide, while the biggest ferrous particles are typically deposited at the entrance point. To get rid of any last bits of the lubrication, the wear particles are cleansed. The composition, concentration, morphology, surface finish and the size of the ferrous and non-ferrous wear particles are then examined under the microscope. Here we can see in the figure how the analytical ferrography is performed with labeling. Direct reading ferrography. The quantity of the ferromagnetic wear debris in an oil sample is determined using the direct reading ferrography. Wear particles are detected by ferrograph at two locations. The first one is at the entrance, designated as DL, while the second one is around 5 mm downstream, designated as DS. By calculating the quantity of the light dimmed at the two deposition sites, it detects the presence of the particles, as depicted in this figure. The measurements obtained are expressed using the following terms, namely DL for the particles bigger than 5 micrometer and DS for the particles smaller than 5 micrometer and this technique provides the immediate information re regarding the total wear particle concentration which is called as WPC. In this video, we understood how wear particle analysis is performed, what is wear particle analysis and what are the different methods used to analyze the wear particles. These are the references for the information provided in this video and thank you for watching this video. To get more details on the topics related to tribology, follow us on our social media pages on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn and do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel Tribonet. Also visit our website on www.tribonet.org. 